Hello dear students, welcome to E. Padasala, uh, myself Sivakumar from uh, Kumaragur College of Technology, Koyamathur. Today we are going to see the model yarn. Regarding introduction, just yarn is a long continuous length of interlocked fibers, preferably using twist suitable for use in the production of textiles, shoeing, crocheting, knitting, weaving, embroidery, rope making etc. Yeah, and also we can define like this, a textile yarn is an assembly of substantial length and relatively small cross section of fibers or filaments with or without twist. We can say other name, it is thread. Thread also can be defined in such a way that thread is a type of yarn in intended for sewing by hand or machine. Modern manufactured sewing threads may be finished with wax or other lubricants to withstand the stresses involved in the sewing. Embroidery threads are yarns specifically designed for hand or machine embroidery. The most common pan fiber is cotton which is typically spun into fine yarn for mechanical weaving or knitting into cloth. Next we go into the classification of yarn. There are two types of broad classific classification that is staple yarn and continuous filament yarn. Regarding staple yarn, there are two other uh, two more types. That is, one is sh short staple yarn, and is a long staple yarn. Under short staple yarn, there is a, first yarn is called conventional yarn. Second one is the new innovative technologies. So under conventional yarn, there are two types. That is, corded uh, ring span and combed ring span. Regarding new technologies, there are air jet span, uh, rotor span and vortex span uh, like this, there are many types. Regarding continuous filament yarn under the category of yarn, there is a toe type yarn and a filament type yarn. Under filament type yarn, there is a partially oriented yarn and fully oriented yarn and also the flat yarns. This both, uh, these, these yarns can be converted into textured yarns using bulking process specifically for manufactured fibers. Now we are going to look into the, some brief introduction about all the, uh, all the yarns. First category is staple yarn or other name is uh, spun yarn. Spun staple yarns consist of staple fibers assembled and bound together by various means, usually twist to produce the required characteristics such as strength, handle, appearance, etc. Regarding under which the first yarn is the short staple yarn. This, this yarn produced using less than 60 mm fibers called short staple yarn. So under this short staple yarn, there are there is a first category that is ring spun yarn. These ring spun yarn, uh, yarns are produced on the ring and travel at twist system from a wide variety of fiber types and the length preferably ranges from 15 mm to 50 mm. The softness changes with respect to twist and it is used to produce woven fabrics, knitted fabrics, home textile materials and industrial fabrics. It is uh, normally of mono structure, has hairy fibers on its surface, highly cohesive in structure. And other properties are, it has high tensile strength and moderate uniformity and the machine uh, produced, producing very less production. Applications, yarns for warp woven, knit, knitted and weft yarns. High, uh, main disadvantages are high manufacturing cost, high energy expenses and, uh, and also high labor cost since low production. Second short staple yarn is the rotor spun yarn. This is produced by the open end spinning system. That means opening the sliver into individual fibers and converting into yarn. This is called open end spinning system. This rotor spinning, rotor spun yarn consists of fibers bound together by twist. Rotor spins are generally produced from short staple fibers used to produce bed sheets, bed linen, sofa cover, home textile materials. It has three phase structure, core, sheath and a belt or uh, wrap fibers. Typical characteristics of this so called core twist yarns therefore a harder handle accompanied by a lower strength than is obtained with sheath twist. 
since the outer layers have relatively little twist and can thus contribute little to strength. However, abrasion resistance is often better. Removal of outer fibers due to abrasion has little effect since these fibers did not create much strength anyhow. In rotor spun yarns, this outer layer exhibits other peculiarities. One of these is the presence of raft fibers. These are the fibers which fly directly onto the fully created yarn as the rotor passes under the feed passage. The next uh, short staple spun yarn is friction spun or other name is a drough yarn. These, are, these yarns are produced on spinning system which use two rotating rollers to collect and twist individual fibers into staple yarn structure. Friction spinning or drough spinning is a textile technology that suitable for spinning coarse counts of yarns and technical core wrapped yarns. Drough yarns are normally bulky with low tensile strength making them suitable for blanket mop yarns. These can be spun from asbestos, carbon fibers and make filters for water systems. Yarns such as rayon, kevlar can be also spun using this method. The general properties are such that low tensile strength, good uniformity and has high production rates. It is applied for yarns for knitting, terry yarns and weft yarns. The main advantages are low manufacturing cost, possibly for more automation and low energy expenses and low labor cost. The characteristics of a yarn are strongly dependent upon the properties of the fibers used in the yarn, but they are equally dependent upon the structure of the yarn itself. The following factors are especially significant. The number of fibers in the yarn cross section, fiber disposition, fiber alignment, position of fibers in the strand, binding in fibers, and the overall structure, finally the twist. Next. Yarn type is the air jet spun yarn. Air jet spinning is a pneumatic method which consists of your passing a drafted strand of fibers through one or two fluid nozzles located between the front roller of your drafting system and a tack up device. The air jet spun yarn consists of an untwisted core of your parallel fibers and a surface wrapping of fibers. The core fibers account for approximately 85 to 90 percent of the yarn mass. The surface wrapper fibers are helical in nature unlike the wrapper fibers in the rotor yarn. The wrapper fibers are not uniformly distributed over the length. Sometimes they are, they are more on the surface and sometimes very few are on the surface. The tensile strength is lower than that of rotor and rings ring yarns. More wrapping turns give better yarn strength but at the same time higher wrapping frequency leads to higher bending rigidity and lower compressive softness. Still this time we have seen the short staple yarns. Now we are go going to look into long staple yarns. Long staple yarns are nothing but normally these fibers are having uh, these yarns are made, manufactured from the fibers having more than 60 mm of length. There are uh, natural fibers having more than 60 mm, they are wool, uh, woolen fibers, worsted fibers, linen fibers, uh, flax fibers, jute fibers and regarding synthetic fibers, all type of synthetic fibers can be used for the long staple yarns provided its length more than 60 mm. Now we are going to look into uh, the woolen yarn. The, this is a, a type of yarn made from carded wool. Woolen yarn is a soft, light, stretchy and full of air. It is thus a good insulator and makes a good knitting yarn. The process creates a less than a perfect yarn as compared to that one that is spun with the worsted method. You will find that woolen yarn is fluffier, often has varying degrees of thickness, creates warm soft and soft knitwear. Woolen yarns are not very strong though playing can improve its strength. Next yarn is the worsted long staple yarn. Worsted is a high quality type of wool yarn that the fabric made from this yarn is called worsted wool fabric typically used in the making of tailored garments such as shoots as opposed to woolen yarn which, uh, which is used for knitted items such as sweaters. The essential feature of worsted yarn is straight parallel fibers. Originally long fine staple wool was spun to create worsted yarn. Next we are going to see the uh, filament yarn. The, this is the second category of the yarn, this is filament yarn. This filament yarn is a very long continuous fiber either twisted together or only grouped together and thicker monofilaments are typically used for industrial purpose rather than fabric production or decoration. Silk is a natural filament and synthetic filaments are used for to produce silk like effects. 
Continuous filaments ions are produced either by co combining the required number of filaments together or commonly by producing the required number of filaments and uh, thickness of filaments simultaneously in one spinning operation as in the case of man-made fibers. Under the filament yarn, there are two categories of yarn. One is monofilament yarn and one is a multifilament yarn. The first is the, the monofilament. They are simply single filament of synthetic fibers that are strong enough to be useful without being twisted with other, filament, other filaments into yarn. Next is a multifilament yarn consists of many filaments which are without twist and with varying thicknesses of filaments. So under the Multifilament yarn, the textilized yarns are manufactured and the textilized yarns are manufactured through the process of texturization. It is essentially used for filament yarns, which combines multiple filament yarns into a yarn with some of the characteristics of spun yarns. It is manufactured through disc uh, method, stuffer box method, air vortex method, knit, knit method, like many methods. The textured yarns are mainly used for creating bulkiness and more and more adsorption rather than absorption and it gives more softness and more loopy structure. Apart from this filament yarn, there are other types of yarn such as twistless yarn. This is called ICS yarns also. This, these are the yarns produced from state fibers where the consolidation of the fibers is done by means of adhesive. The core yarn is essentially of the filament yarn and it is surfacely covered by an adhesive and stuck by the staple fiber over the surface. This is called ICS yarn or twist, uh, twistless yarn. Next yarn is the core yarn. Core yarn are characterized by having a central core wrapped with the staple fibers. These are produced in a single operation by simultaneously feeding a core filament and a staple fiber through the delivery rolls of a spinning frame. The so central, uh, fill, uh, central core is having a filament and uh, through the uh, on the surface of the uh, uh, this yarn it is essentially contains the staple fibers. This is called sheath. Third type of yarn is the self twist yarn. Self twist yarns are two ply yarns produced in a single operation. Each component is twisted in alternating direction in short segments. The two components are subsequently put together in such a way that they twist together that is called self twist to form a final yarn. Fourth is the folded or plied yarn. A yarn in which two or more single yarns are twisted together in a single operation. For example, the two fold, three fold, four fold yarns etc. Next is the cable yarn, the yarn in which two or more folded yarns are twisted together in one or more operations. Folded and cabled yarns can be produced from staple yarns, continuous filament yarns or a combination of both. It is having more thickness compared to a plied yarn. End use of plied yarns. Two plain yarns are normally used for poplin fabrics, voile fabrics, gabardines, fabric, creeps, sewing threads and general purpose. Regarding three ply yarns, it is essentially used for sewing threads, industrial yarns to produce canvas fabrics, filter cloths, conveyor belts, and embroidered yarns. Regarding cable yarns, it is used for heavy industrial purposes like industrial yarns, electrical insulation, shoelaces, cords, and for manufactured weave belts and embroidery yarns. The finally the fancy yarns or the novelty yarns. What is fancy yarn? It can be defined as one that differs from the normal construction of a single or double yarn by deliberately introdu introdu introduced irregularities in its construction. The novelty or fancy yarns produce different textures and effects in the fabrics. Fancy yarns can be made from all natural fibers, all man-made fibers and their blends. They can be produced from pre-dyed or undyed fibers and yarns. Fabrics containing fancy yarns are used for many textile purposes. For instance, apparel such as dress fabrics or household textiles such as curtains and upholstery. Using one or more of the following techniques, novelty yarns may be produced by combination of different fiber types, combination of different colors of yarns, combination of different yarn linear densities, combination of different yarn lengths. Novelty yarns include a wide variety of yarns made with unusual features, structure or fiber composition such as slabs, inclusions, metallic or synthetic fibers uh, with, through laddering effect and varying thickness introduced during the production. 
Some linens wools to be woven into tweed and the uneven filaments of some types of silk are allowed to retain their normal irregularities, producing the cat is uneven surface of the finished fabric. Magnet fibers which can be modified during production are especially adaptable for special effects such as crimping and texturizing. There are, we have shown in the diagram from top to bottom, the regular yarn, braided yarn, ladder yarn and ribbon yarn, some of the novelty yarns the, they are. Basic fancy yarn is generally defined as a fancy yarn contain two or more of the following that is a base or core yarn around which the yarn intended to create the fancy effect is wrapped. The effect yarn which forms the design and the binder which holds the effect yarn in place on the base to prevent it slipping while, while it is being bound or knitted or woven. Gimp or loop yarn. All these fancy yarns are produced by delivering the core and the effect yarn at different rates of delivery. The gimp is a twisted core yarn with the effect yarn wrapped around the core producing irregular wavy surface. The effect yarn has a regular semicircular appearance while in loop the effect yarn appears as well formed circular loops. Next is a small fancy yarns. This is made in the same way as a loop yarn but using highly twisted effect yarn which forms snarls rather than loops. Next one is the spiral or corkscrew yarn. The applied yarn in which one of the components wraps around the other rather than the components twisting regularly together under the same tension. A spiral yarn tends to have a higher twist than a corkscrew yarn. Next is the slab yarn. This is composed of a short abnormally thick place at regular or irregular intervals. The slab effect is spun into the yarn. It gives a special effect on the fabrics. Next one is the cloud yarn. A two color yarn in which both yarns take it, take it in turn to obscure or cloud the other giving the appearance of an intermittent color change. Next one is the fluck yarn. Small amounts of fibers of either different colors or luster of both are introduced in, into the yarn. This gives it to a spotted or sh short streaky appearance. Next type of yarns are called special purpose yarns or technical yarns under which we are going to see the first one is a high temperature sewing threads. High temperature sewing threads provides durability and resistance to extreme temperatures. Some threads can be used for applications up to 80, 800 degree Celsius that is 1472 degree Fahrenheit. There are vari variety of different sewing threads available which have different application and benefits. Kevlar, co Kevlar coated stainless steel sewing threads have a high temperature and flame resistant steel core combined with Kevlar coating designed to facilitate easier machine sewing. The stainless steel core has a temperature resistance of up to 800 degree Celsius and the Kevlar coating is heat resistance up to 220 degree Celsius. PTFE polytetrafluoroethylene coated glass sewing threads have an excellent temperature resistance combined with a PTFE coating to provide easier machine sewing. The glass core has a temperature resistance of up to 550 degrees Celsius and the PTFE coating is a heat resistance up to 230 degrees Celsius. Nomax swing threads are inherently flame retardant and heat resistant with a tough protective coating which, is resistant, which resists abrasion during the swing operation. It is temperature resistance up to 370 degrees Celsius. Bonded nylon swing threads are tough coated with abrasion resistant and rot proofing and having good tensile strength for lower temperature application. They are temperature resistant up to 120 degrees Celsius. Next uh, type of uh, yarn we are going to see under technical guide is the electrically conducting yarn. This is mostly used in the modern type of garments that is used for the electrically embedded fabrics. An electrically conducting yarn is a yarn that conducts electricity. Conducting yarns are used to manufacture carpets and other items that dissipate static electricity such as work clothes in highly flammable environments, example in the petrochemistry industry. There are several methods known to manufacture electrically conductive textiles. The, simplet, the simplest way is to incorporate metal wires or wire meshes into fabrics. Another approach is to use metallized yarns. In staple yarns, it is possible to spin short strands of regular yarns with metal yarns. Electrically conducting yarns may be made of a 
central metal strand with a regular yarn woven around it. An altogether different approach involves yarns based on, on conductive polymers such as polyaniline. Next is the electrically conductive yarns can also be produced from carbon nanotubes that is called CNT. Individual CNT based fibers are spun preferably through wet spinning into a fiber directly from the solution. The solution either contains pre-made dissolved CNTs or the combination of chemicals required to synthesize CNTs. Tens to hundreds of individual fibers can be worn into yarn. CNT based yarns find application in energy and electrochemical water treatment and can replace copper windings. Example in motors which would improve the efficiency and consequently reduce the use of energy. Now we are looking into the next subtopic that is yarn numbering or yarn number. What is yarn number or count? Count is a numerical expression which express in expresses or indicates coarseness or fineness of yarn and a definition of yarn count is given by, te by the textile institute is a count is a number indicating the mass per unit length or the length per unit mass of a yarn. There are two systems of yarn numbering. One is indirect system and one is the direct system. What is indirect, indirect system? In this system, the count is the number of units of length per unit of weight of yarn. In this case, higher the count, finer the yarn. This system is generally used for cotton, woolen, worsted type. First one is the English system under the indirect system. This is nothing but the yarn number or count is defined as the number of hangs of 840 yards per pound of yarn. Next is the metric system that is NM. It is defined as the number of hangs of 1000 meters weighing per kg of yarn. Third one is the French count that is NF. It is defined as the number of hangs of 1000 meters of yarn per half kg of yarn. Fourth one is the worsted system. It is defined as the number of hangs of 560 yards per pound of yarn. The second system is the direct system under which the count of the yarn is defined as the number of units of weighs per unit length of yarn. That is, this system is used for jute, silk and synthetic fibers or synthetic yarns. Text system of a yarn numbering is the called a universal system. This, this is direct system of yarn numbering and uh, introduced by international standards organization. The direct system, under direct system, the text is the first form of the system universally being followed. That text system is the weight in grams of a thousand meter of yarn or one kilometer of a yarn. Next is the denier. Denier system is not, count is nothing but it is a weight of yarn in grams of 9000 meter or nine kilometer of yarn. Third one is the Desitex count. This count is the DNA system is the weight in grams of 10,000 meter of yarn or 10 kilometer of a yarn. There are conversion systems. We can convert direct system to direct system, direct to indirect system, indirect to direct system, direct to direct system. So we see as an example conversion among direct system. To convert text to Desitex, we have to multiply text into 10. To convert text into linear, we have to, con uh, we have to multiply the text into 9. If you want to con convert linear to text, then we have to uh, divide the linear by 9. If you want to convert the linear into desitex, we have to divide the linear by 0.9. So these are the typical example regarding conversion system which is available plenty in the online. We are coming to the next topic is the blending. What is blending in textile industry? We can see the definition first. The blended fabrics are created when two or more different kinds of fibers are mixed together to create a new fabric with unique properties or a yarn or a fabric made from two or more different fibers. These blended fibers are found in each of the yarn in the fabric. Blend is the com combination of different fibers together intimately to achieve a desired product characteristics. Blend can influence coloring, strength, softness, absorbency, easy care, resistance, strength, wrinkling, ease of spinning, cost, etc. Reasons for blending is the to improve the wear performance of the fabric, to achieve aesthetic qualities that is appearance, texture, drape, to obtain cross dyed effect, to improve spinning, weaving, dyeing and finishing efficiencies, 
to achieve an economic savings for producing permanent pleated fabrics to get resistance to moth and mildew effects for comfort and ease in washing easy care resistant to chemicals improving absorbency what are the types of blends commercially available in the market so there are some of the blends we can say polyester fiber cotton fiber combination which is used for e crease more crease resistance more comfort less ironing and the other typical blending is linen silk which is used for crease resistance la more luster more durability and better drapeability next one is the pandex cotton blending that is used for more stretchy fabrics durable fabrics and more absorbable fabrics there is another type of blending that is cotton polyester and rayon fibers that is viscose rayon fibers this is used for more strength more shiny effect and softness resilience as well as the comforts the typical blend is the wool and polyester fiber that is more, mostly used for more warmthness more breathable and better strength and have more drapeability dear students i conclude such a way regarding this topic that we have seen uh, what is yarn what are the properties of yarn and the classification yarn under the classification we have seen a staple type of yarn and the filament type of yarn and we have seen a broad categories under these two categories so also we have seen the different images of the various yarns and its applications and moreover we have seen the yarn numbering system this numbering system gives two methods that is one is indirect method and is a direct method this text system is the universal method and a direct system which is which could be understand by the uh, all the countries and the next one is we have seen the blending of fibers and its importance and what are uh, what are the uh, what are the uh, purpose of it so finally the blending gives a more uh, meets the more functional requirements aesthetic effects and technical demands of the industry thank you very much